Hello friends, my name is Taufik and you're watching my channel Graphics 10. So in this video we are going to see a property rather lesser known to people or designers about the clipping masks which can be very useful while working with complex objects or while creating a vector illustration like you can see on your screen. So as you can already see some of the objects are falling out of the artboard. So what if I only want to uh, show the out the artboard space and these extra uh, parts which are exceeding beyond the artboard I don't want to show them so we can always use the general method to apply uh, clipping mask like the usual method so uh, as you can see in the layers panel there are bunch of layers so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer simply new layer and I'm going to place it at the top and let's say I will name it as the main layer main layer and I'm going to place all remaining layers inside that main layer like this so these all remaining layers are in the main layer so what is the usual method that we use so I'm going to click on the main layer first we simply create a rectangle or whatever shape we are looking to make a clipping mask with and we simply select all the objects or elements and right click and maybe make clipping mask and you can use the same option from the object menu so this is how it works but if we try this method it creates a kind of a complex group which can be a bit confusing while using it or while working with it so that's why I don't prefer this particular method and let's say if I draw try to draw some of the objects like this they again fall outside the artboard so so what is the the new method or the lesser known method or the or a trick you may call it so I'll undo this so as you can see we already have a rectangle so instead of uh, using the usual clipping mask method what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply click on this main layer and I'm going to use the settings of this layers panel from here and simply click on the make clipping mask so how this is beneficial as compared with the usual method now even if I draw some objects they will not fall or we won't be able to see the parts like this outside the artboard so this is already a clipping mask and one more interesting thing about this particular method is whether you change the rectangle position it doesn't really matter even if you change it so I'll show you even if I change this is the clipping mask even if I change the location or the position of this particular uh, rectangle it still holds and I'll show you even if I draw something it will still pan inside the artboard instead of going outside the artboard so it will become a permanent kind of a clipping mask so this is that easy and if you don't want to uh, don't want the clipping mask or you if you want to turn off the clipping mask you can simply go into the setting and you can simply I'll click on this particular main layer you have to click on the main layer and simply use the option release clipping mask so it will release the clipping marks so I find this method very easy to understand this is not complex at all and it is very easy as well as it is uh, simple to work with while especially while working with complex design so I suggest you do use this method it's very easy and very convenient so I hope you like this hack uh, if you may like to call it if you like the hack do give me a like and subscribe to my channel so that's it for this video I'll see you in the next one until then bye bye and cheers